Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and More. And today um, we're going to be talking about the Madame Alexander Company. Just a very, very short history. It was founded in 1923. Still operating today in New York, New York, USA. 1928, they uh, made very high quality line of dolls which were produced and were, and were advertised as Madame Alexander. Some Alexander dolls only had a few face molds. The clothing or the costume told you who the dolls were. A wrist tag also told you who the doll were. If the clothing or the wrist tags were lost, one would not know who the doll was. Early cloth and wood or composition dolls were marked, and if the doll was not marked, the clothing and the tag would be marked to tell you who, who and what the doll were. I had a girlfriend whose parents invested in some Madame Alexander dolls, and all the faces were the same. Yet one would be Alice in Wonderland, one was, some were little women, some were something else, but the face was all the same. Maybe blue eyes, brown eyes, or whatever, but the mold itself, they were the same. But um, Madame Alexander just didn't stop at those dolls. She also made some other dolls, and one of the dolls she made was the, the doll called So Big. Um, some people do re um, refer to it as the pump, pump, pumpkin doll or something like that, but it's not. It's a so big doll. Now, the book you're seeing is a little golden book that was um, uh, first produced in 1968. And um, this doll here is 1967 when I'm going to show you the so big. Esther Wilkins. Um, that name should come back to some people who've been watching my videos. I talked about Eloise Wilkins who made the Baby Deer book and also illustrated many pictures for um, the little golden book. I talked about her in some of my earlier videos um, that I made. I, I made, a, I think, about two videos about Baby Deer and then Baby Deer Turns One. I had Bobby and I had the little girl, Baby Deer. Well, th this is another doll that... Um, she also illustrated in the book called So Big, but it was Esther, her sister, that did, did the illustrations. But one thing about these two women, their art, artistic work was very close to the same. So with it being marked, I, I can tell who did what. But otherwise, if you were to put it in front of me, I would always say it was Eloise Wilkins. But it wasn't. Her, her sister and her had artwork that looked very close to one another. So you see the book here, um, So Big. I'm going to show just a few of the pictures. And you can see how beautiful the children are in the pictures. Um, there's some here that are just beautiful. Um, I hope you can see that there. And here's the doll that she, that was created by Madame Alexander that Esther Wilkins um, illustrated and came very close, actually very, very close to it. Um, there's some other very beautiful pictures in here. Here's one, a very beautiful close-up of the child. And I'm very big on the, the books by Esther and Eloise Wilkins. Um, beautiful children just gorgeous children in the books um, whenever I see any of her books I'm picking them up right away now this is a 1971 version um, of the book from 19 uh, the late 60s and now you can see black children are being in, uh, brought into the picture which they should have been all the way along I really feel but anyhow as it may be they are being brought in which is I think it's just wonderful but anyways now we're going to take a look at the the dolls themselves I have the boy version and I have the girl version of this, uh, of this, uh, from that book of So Big. I have the girl, So Big, and I have the boy, So Big. So let's take a look at them now. Ooh, I always zoom the wrong way. There we go. Oh, I'm going to have to go down. There we go. There they are. Aren't they just gorgeous little dolls? They're big, big, they're about at least 24 inches, I would say. And um, they have vinyl arms, legs, and hands. The hands are only about, what, a quarter length, I think they are. The feet are cloth. Um, the body's all cloth. So I'm not going to, I should take that back, not the feet. It's just the hands and the face. Uh, the boy has molded hair and the girl has her own hair. Now mine has her hair that was cut by a little one. I want to um, restore her hair down the road. That's why I buy sometimes some of my dolls to experiment on and to see if I can fix them up, make them better. And that way I know what to do down the road. If I've ever, ever handed one of these dolls, I can say, yes, I know how to fix it. So I buy them this way purposely so I can fix them back up again. But anyways, I think these are um, a great doll to collect. They're very cheap, inexpensive. I, if you're buying them with the original clothes, of course they can cost a little bit more money. Um, probably about a hundred dollars um, American. But um, they're well worth for your collection. They have beautiful faces um, to them. So, you know, they're very um, attractive dolls. 
So, but I love the size of them. They fit into everyday clothing. The little girl is wearing a vintage bonnet and a vintage dress. The little boy is wearing updated clothes from today, but they still look quite quite cute. The the boots, the booties on him though, they are uh, vintage. Um, that's what the only vintage thing that's on him. But other than that, they are very um, nice collectible dolls for even an early collector to even the most, um, you know, a collector who's been collecting for years. If you don't have them in your collection, they're very nice to add to the collection. They add a nice little spice to the collection. Um, but anyways, I thought I'd share them with you. The Madame Alexander um, So Big dolls and the Eloise Wilkins um, who um, illustrated the book for Little Golden Books, uh, the book So Big. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to next be making a second uh, video on an update of some of my dolls that I've been working on in the workshop with. So I'll be showing those in a few minutes to you. Thanks again for tuning in and have a good day.